okay. Jenny, down the long side, we write a diagonal from B to A. From B to A, a diagonal. When you're done, when we, right before A, we do a pyramid. When you're done with the pyramid, face E. Okay? Diagonal towards A, when you're done with the pyramid, you should be facing E, controlling the rotation. Very good. Go to E, from E to C. Before C, we do another pyramid. When you're done, we should be facing B. And I really like what you did there. You didn't just think about the movement. The, the suppleness was the question. That's good. That's good. You know, like? Good correction. Excellent correction. I was just about to say, get out of it forward. You were ahead of me. That's training. That's what I mean before, with really allowing the rider to react instinctively. Yeah? Good there. Okay, good. This is such a critical spot in the pyramid. Halfway through, all our horses like to take over. I love this exercise, keeping the right lead, not changing direction, keeping the mind on the subject. Not just making this a physical issue, it's a mental issue. Learning the movement. There she's thinking. I like, what I like before is that when you came into it, you made her just a bit rounder, a little bit more through looking. Yeah? So again, even though she was more attentive about the rotation, I need to see more suppleness in the top line. Yes, yes, yes. dressageclinic.com A world of knowledge at your fingertips.